Jacinda Ardern's Labour Party holding 64 seats in the 120 seat parliament. Now that is interesting because it's the first time since the introduction of proportional representation in 1996 that any party has won enough seats to govern on its own. Now this is by turns uh, rather luxurious and also slightly terrifying for the new Labour government uh, because there are no checks and balances on power. There is no upper house. Jacinda Ardern can pretty much rule as she sees fit. So she did rule out heading into this election any capital gains tax, but as revenue collapses, it must be very tempting to give that policy another look. She's also contemplating going into coalition with the Greens Party, even though she doesn't actually need them to govern. Now, the Greens Party did take forward a more comprehensive package of tax reforms to this uh, election. So were she to govern in concert with the Greens, they could do much of the heavy lifting on tax reform, which may also prove to be a little unpopular with some portions of the electorate. So it's going to be very interesting to watch this new term. There's going to be a lot of new and untested MPs in the caucus. So a second uh, Jacinda Ardern term is uh, going to be full of all sorts of different challenges to the ones that characterise the first.